Hi everyone, I hope you're all ready with your tech set up and ready to go. Uh, this is a quick uh, sort of whip round synthesia to give you an idea of how it's all put together. It's a very simple program and it's really just a tool that we can use um, to teach our kids. So let's have a look around. Uh, first of all, you might want to quickly make yourself a profile. My name's Greg and there we go. I've made myself a cheeky profile there. Okay, you could do one for all the family. We have the options for play a song, free play, settings and exit and hopefully by now you've also unlocked Synthesia which will enable you to play the course files. To take a quick uh, look in the settings part this is where you connected your keyboard hopefully then that's all gone okay. Good um, we're just going to explore the player song section really today so let's go back a step there so when you come in, first of all, you should see this list. This whole section is just a file system, really. Um, so various files that you can dip in and out of. Notice the file path in the top here, uh, just to find uh, lots of different songs. And of course, down here, we have the musical family 1.2 folder. It's got all the files for this course from me. Uh, good. OK, so next, let's have a look in easiest this is the easiest folder and let's have a go at hot cross buns it's a great song to start off with so there are different modes that you can play this game in uh, there is watch and listen mode i'll use my blue cursor they go watch and listen where you can just watch and listen to a song just play through on its own we have practice the melody mode where the song waits for you as it says um, so the notes will just appear and you have all the time in the world to just figure out where they are and find them and play them. We have practice the rhythm mode where the song will play through at the correct pace and you've got to keep up with it. And depending on how well you do, um, you'll get a score. And we have song recital mode where you just get one chance to just go through and, and get your score. Good, so let's have a little um, look inside practice the melody mode. This is probably the most useful mode because um, it really doesn't apply too much pressure. Here come the falling notes. This is the sort of typical view that you might start off with in Synthesia. We have a virtual keyboard at the bottom with some nice alphabetical note names on. And we have these falling notes, these green bars that drop down onto the top of the keyboard to tell us which notes to play. Um, so first of all, let's just look through the top menu. We've got pause and we've got play. Pause and play. Nice and simple. We go back to the beginning there. Well, we could do if I'd played in a little way. We go that to the beginning. That'll take me to the end. We have a tempo control, so we can play this really slowly. Or if we're sitting playing with this with, with young kids, they might want to play it really, 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 really fast. Okay. Uh, that's fun to play with. I recommend slowing the song down to practice, by the way. Speeding up is fun, though. Uh, next up, this is an important one. The cog um, represents the settings, this settings menu, the cog. Um, here we go. So these are the different views. Now, sheet music view, there it is. It's a very important view. So I've got shot, um, sheet music toggled there. Let's get rid of the falling notes. And let's also get that blue up down arrow to drag the keyboard out as well. So remember, this is where we want to end up um, reading sheet music. And this, of course, is interactive sheet music. Um, it responds to what I do. Uh, there's you see. Um, so that's that menu. Let me just go back to the falling notes and pause. Now, the next thing is the metronome menu that's quite useful for just changing the volume of the click track you'll hear as you play through there's a click clop 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 which helps keep you in time so you can change the volume there and decide what you want to do with that next along we have the sort of zoom menu oh let's bring the keyboard in because this is relevant to the keyboard so i'm playing some massive piece of rackman and i've found all the keys um, but we're probably not going to be doing that, so let's go back into that zoom menu and just take it down to 18 keys or even better. How about we go for there we go, song only, so it sort of just focuses in around the, the keys we need for the song. Um, the next menu item, LA, stands for label or labels. Uh, this is a really useful 
menu. So we have the key labels, that's for the keyboard. Key labels on the keyboard. And I currently have simple names up. So seeing the simple names, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it's really useful for putting your keyboard stickers on the real keyboard. And I also think the finger hint numbers are useful. Um, I don't really tend to use any of the others, really just those two. And then the note labels will change what we see on the falling notes. So see there, that went from a, being a C to a 1. Go back to being a C again, depending on what I choose in this drop-down menu. Really important, um, that menu. Um, not so worried about the bookmarking or adding fingerings. Finally, we have the loop menu. So this sort of loop thing, skipping the other two, allows us to set a loop in game by dragging something onto the timeline, which means, whoo, oh, come on. The song will loop around. Okay, we get to the end of that phrase, and it takes me back to the beginning again. So it's really useful for practicing more complex pieces of music, which need to be broken down into sections. Okay, um, good. Let's get rid of that, and let's get out of here. So there we go, that was the in-game uh, view. Um, lots of useful things to take on board, particularly take on board the keyboard view, that keyboard at the bottom of the screen. Um, there we go, the falling notes as they come down. But of course, the whole point of this method is to transition on to sheet music in the end. Good. Um, so I think that pretty much covers everything, really. Uh, if you want to have a go at changing the sounds of the instruments, I was playing with an organ then, um, you could do that. I'll put it back to the acoustic grand piano where it would normally be by default. There we go. You can change the colours of your notes. And that's sort of it, really. It's quite a small programme. So uh, I suggest that much like a young child poking all the keys on a keyboard that you just press all the buttons on Synthesia and just see what it does. Can't go wrong. Okay, bye for now.